Welcome to part two of our two-part special training series, the Holiday Marketing Mastery. This one is the Holiday Home Stretch. So we actually started before Thanksgiving, and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And of course, we also want to wish uh, those of you that are celebrating a uh, happy Hanukkah, as I believe this is the beginning. So as the holiday season goes into full gear, we know that you're aiming to boost your sales and sponsoring. But remember, it's key not to come across as a Shackley salesperson online. In fact, very recently, Meta, the company behind Facebook, has been targeting anyone in posts, comments, and even private messages who send messages and links or posts in their groups with the words Shackley or the, I think it's mainly been with the links when they have a Shackley uh, link in it. So they actually have taken down posts and shared links from Facebook groups as well. And uh, so we believe this is a signal, <laughs> again, a reminder. So this time is really perfect for building stronger community connections and being recognized as a wellness educator versus a Shackley salesperson. So it's important to remember that during the holiday season as well, you can't really depend on discounts and promotions to grow your business. Not that Shackley doesn't have them. It's just that you often don't know what they are. And you know, this isn't a discount kind of business. So you can't depend on it like say traditional retail and online sellers might. So what should you do instead? Well, what we're teaching is to focus on building real relationships and sharing knowledge that helps with the everyday issues your community faces. This is a longer term strategy that ties in right into next year. So for me, what we've always taught is in the holiday season, it's a perfect time to focus on networking and making those connections that are gonna lead into great months coming forward. So now you might be thinking again, how does sharing knowledge help my business grow? Well, this webcast will answer that. And in this webcast, you'll uncover the shift or uncover how to, I should say, shift from the perception from again, being seen online as a Shackley salesperson to wellness educator, how to authentically attract people to your wellness community and how to elevate your VIP group for repeat business. And your VIP group is your retention group. Some of you may know this as being what's called the paid group. We don't use that term, but um, if that helps you. And then finally set the stage for the new year. So if you're ready to achieve better results, building your Shackley business online without posting and praying or spamming people, uh, straining relationships or getting blocked by Facebook, you've come to the right place. So if we haven't crossed paths yet, I'm Jody Steeg, affectionately known as Coach Jode here. I've been immersed in network marketing since the tender age of eight, learning the ropes from my parents. And their journey inspired my own leap at 18. And by 1997, I recognized the digital era's potential and took my dad's three-step system online. And I quickly grew in what was later to become your freedom project. Today, YFP is not just a platform, but a holistic ecosystem tailored for Shackley ambassadors by a former Shackley ambassador, myself. And it's a fusion of tools, training and marketing strategies, all geared towards ensuring that you can brand yourself as a wellness educator and help you find, enroll and retain clients without having to chase people or do spammy, icky things that might turn people off. So whether a familiar face or a new acquaintance here, I'm elated to have you with us. And this is our last webcast of 2023. This has been a tumultuous year for me um, with ups and downs. So it's nice to be able to just, you know, share it with you guys, this, this community. I love being here. So let's dive deep and make this session truly insightful. And let's introduce Coach Kristen. Well, hello there. I am Coach Kristen. And like Coach Jody, I am deeply vested in the tech domain. So helping Shackley ambassadors like you ride the digital wave seamlessly. And it was a curious click in 2009 that led me to Shackley through the YFP funnel, or as we fondly know it, <laughs> explore opportunity, um, marking this the start of my, four, well, almost the end of my 14-year transformative journey. And that's 
what's led me to the transformative world of Shackley and wellness. And it's a journey that I'm honored to share with each and every one of you. All right. Well, it is great to see you guys share, you know, whether you are a seasoned pro um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, whether this is something you're just new to or not. Okay, so in this segment, we're going to talk about addressing the first key question, and that is, how will you actually shift the perception of people? Now, let's ask you guys this. This is something that you may, you know, you might think of yourself because maybe you feel like, I only share Shackley, if that's a word that you've thought of. Um, but how do you feel you're perceived online? Do you, so go ahead and type it in the chat. Do you feel that you're perceived? as a wellness educator or as a Shackley salesperson. Um, and the reality is it actually, it might not be quite what you think. So how will you make that shift? Well, let's get into that. And it starts with intention. So this holiday season, you want to elevate your intentions from just making a sale to creating a lifelong loyal client who's part of your wellness community. And I want to start by saying, we teach a different strategy for the wellness community than what is currently being taught. So let's take a minute and just listen to this key point or embrace this, get ready for it, take notes. Uh, what is being taught is kind of a quick short term challenge and then starting over, you know, killing off the group, creating a new group. Um, not only can this be tiring, short lived, and it really loses the real community feeling on Facebook. Um, we don't recommend that. So that's why our wellness community strategy is built for the long term. It's more than just challenges. It's about creating a daily wellness space. And you know, we've had our groups for over 10 years. So one of our groups has over 5000 members in it. Well, we wouldn't have had that if we kept killing the group off. You also have to consider that you know, you and your business might be living this daily, but someone else who you've invited to some challenge or something like that, you're just like a tiny noise in their life. And sometimes they're just not ready to be a part of whatever you're in, inviting them into at that time. So often by the time they decide to even look at it, you've already killed off the group and you're starting another one. And it just burns people out. And just think of hundreds, now thousands of distributors creating and killing groups and inviting people nonstop to all these different groups. Can you, let's just get in the chat and find out, can you guys kind of see the, the challenge with that? Um, that creating and killing groups is not the long-term strategy and we are just dead against it. <laughs> so we'll put it that way. Cause I'm coaching, um, one of my coaching clients, was asking me and I thought, you know what, we got to make sure this is really clear to everyone where we stand. Now, hey, if it's working for you and you're happy with that, then okay, good on you. That's a business decision. But uh, we are all about fundamentals. And the one core fundamental of marketing is that things take time. So our way turns your community into a cozy spot, not just a place to visit quickly. It focuses on lasting connections and not just quick sales. So we're not about the transaction, we're about building a community over the long term. Now, with that said, let's get back to the question that we're trying to answer, is shift the perception. Now, this is important, the word perception. So I know maybe in your mind, you're not really trying to be a salesperson, even though we have to sell. Let's not forget that, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's the perception is what matters. So we want to shift the perception from salesperson to wellness educator. And how are we doing it? Again, we're going to elevate intentions from making a sale to lifelong loyal client. So it starts with the heart and the head, right? What are we actually trying to do here? And then number two, attract interest by promoting educational content, such as webcasts, like what we just had last night. Thanks to those of you that supported that with Dr. Daggy on the weight loss um, in the holidays as well as articles, blog posts, videos, things like that. Three, nurture engagement and inspire people to take action. And that means move them into your enrollment process where they're now exploring and they're digging deeper to the point where now you can move into a sales conversation and then know when to transition again from education to selling. So let me ask you guys, 
how do you know when to transition from education to selling? And it's, it's something that Kristen is going to, there's a term that Kristen, because she's about to take a Christmas train ride. Um, I believe that's the day before New Year's, right, Kristen? <laughs> day before so, Christmas Eve. They even have in the, in the old, I don't know if they have that anymore, but it was actually called a something man. Um, buying starts with an S. Buying signals is the word. So you're looking for buying signals. Then you can put on your, your salesperson hat and start selling. So let's get you guys to type that out. I'm looking for buying signals. So your education isn't meant to just, you know, endlessly educate and it never goes anywhere, or then you won't convert. You won't move people into that sales funnel, right? To that sales um, situation. And when they're ready to buy, it's like, now let's sell. Like there's, you know, help them buy. Um, so, all right. Um, okay, so we've gone through these ones. So again, elevate your intentions from making a sale attract interest by promoting helpful content nurture that engagement using your wellness community number three number four understand the customer journey and when to transition from education to selling now our educational marketing approach is designed to attract interest and educate building a connection that naturally leads to engagement now this is what i mean by engagement by the way they're commenting they're liking they're interacting with your, your, your stuff. Um, they're downloading, right? They're registering. By offering value first, you establish trust, paving the way for a seamless transaction or a seamless transition, sorry, into your wellness community and then ultimately into your enrollment process. So there's three steps to find people through attraction. So number one, you attract interest by catching the eye with content that sparks curiosity. Then you nurture engagement in your wellness community. So that could be on your business page or in your discovery group or your retention group. It could also even be on your personal profile. And then when you see the right signals, the buying signals, or I shouldn't say the buying signals in this case, when you see the right signals, meaning engagement, they're showing interest, that's when you're reaching out and inspiring action, moving them to into the enrollment process, which then of course you'd be looking for buying signals. So, so let's just clarify, you're gonna attract interest, then nurture that engagement and then inspire action, reach out and inspire action. And that's not what people are really have been taught. It's pretty much, you join the business, start reaching out to your friends right away. I realize that may feel faster, but the problem is you haven't warmed anyone up and you're not actually connecting with people that have shown any sort of interest. So it's easy for it to become a selfish thing where you're just worried about, I have to make rank, I have to make a sale, so I gotta message my friend and, and see. Now, it's not like it's a black and white where every situation you can't reach out. You might have influence with some people and they just, they just love you and it doesn't matter what you tell them, they're gonna be interested in hearing what you have to say. So don't, you know, don't block yourself from those opportunities. But those, to be honest, are, are the inner circle. It's not very long in your business before you'll kind of run out of that. So if you're using the internet to build, chances are people who see your activities online most likely see you as a Shackley salesperson even if you don't think of yourself as that. It's the activities and the way you go about things. Uh, an example would be, and I don't have any screenshots, but um, a top leader just messaged me, she wants to connect. I went and I took a look at her profile and it's just shackly everywhere. It, but there's no value really. It's just more like, I'm great, we're great, products are great, this is great, as opposed to what can I teach you, right? here's something I could share with you. Here's some value. So she's really using her Facebook profile as a Shackley bulletin board, um, posting and praying. The problem is people don't engage with that kind of content because it's not really something that they're interested in other than if they're already a Shackley ambassador. Does that make sense, gang? So let's type this in. I don't want to make my profile a bulletin board for Shackley. If it's a bulletin board for anything, it's a bulletin board for you. 
why they would want to connect and trust you. So what do you do? What are your interests? What are your hobbies? Maybe some of your opinions if they're not too, <laughs> too crazy or radical. Uh, so we realize you're trying to share something that you truly love and, you know, um, that you believe will help people and help them discover the transformative effects of Shackley products. Unfortunately, that is usually not how you're being perceived. So unless you know how to position yourself and act like a wellness educator, you're most likely doing things that make you look like a Shackley salesperson. And you can see the actual consequence of that in what Meta was doing to you guys by killing your links, taking your posts out, things like that. So now again, there's nothing wrong with being a salesperson. I was in sales for many years in retail. There's a time to sell in the customer journey, as I mentioned earlier. The challenge is that when their first impression of you is that of a salesperson, people naturally think you're going to try to sell them something and that can create resistance. So let me share a story about one of my coaching clients who recently did a, a physical wellness event and collected the emails of people who joined her draw for a free prize. She began messaging them, you know, text messaging after, which is okay, but her message made her look like a Shackley salesperson, not a wellness educator. Now, of course, she's very friendly and sweet, so she never thought this, but this resulted in her getting flagged as a spammer. I mean, isn't that sad? She truly loves the products. Her family's been in the business for over 40 years and has positively touched the lives of thousands of people. Yet many of her message recipients put up walls of resistance. Why? Again, it's because they saw her as a salesperson, not as a valued resource. And of course, you know, we're always trying to like block out the salespeople, right? So here's a breakdown. Number one, she didn't focus on building rapport in her messaging. Number two, because she had no rapport, there was no trust. And because she had no trust, they put up their shield of resistance. And this resistance led to a very poor conversion rate and to her getting flagged as a spammer. Luckily, she was able to phone Apple and explain her situation, and they gave her the one chance. That's her one chance. So how could she have fixed this? Well, for starters, her initial message should have focused on branding herself as an educator or a wellness um, guide is the way you guys would sort of front face it, right? The technical term is you guys are wellness educators, but you might in your branding call yourselves wellness guides. Um, and she didn't find ways to build rapport. So she didn't make the focus about connecting and like, who am I, right? She could have sent them to her hub site story page. She could have invited them to watch her wellness show or to join her wellness community, all value-driven assets. Because she failed to understand the customer journey, she sent them to her Shackley storefront too soon. And that instantly branded her in their mind as a Shackley salesperson. All right, so let's recap. And what a powerful story. And it's something that all of us can easily fall into. And I know I have too. So it happens. Um, so let's talk about first shifting the perspective or the perception from chat salesperson to wellness educator. So first, again, it's elevate your intentions from making a sale to creating a lifelong loyal client in your community. The second one, attract interest by promoting helpful educational content, nurture engagement, and inspire people to take action using your wellness community structure and or understand the customer journey and know when to transition from educating or education to sales. So now that you understand the importance of appearing as an educator rather than a salesperson, the next step is discovering how do you connect with the right audience, right? There's right people to work with and there's not necessarily right people to work with. So how will you do that? <clears throat> well, again, the first one is shifting the perception from Shackley salesperson to wellness educator and 
authentically attracting people to your wellness community. We call it your discovery group is the initial one. And then elevate your VIP group for repeat business and then also set the stage for the new year. So helping you discover how to authentically attract people to you. So that's a big key in this. And relying on outdated online strategies such as cold messaging individuals who haven't expressed any interest or need for your offering often leads to misunderstandings about your intentions, right? And I'm sure we've all been there. So let me know in the chat. You know, I've been in that position, right, where you've cold messaged somebody, there's not really a need, and it turns into a little bit of a resistance or a misunderstanding, right? I've done it. It's happened. Um, so let me know if you've experienced something like that too. <clears throat> and again, while this approach might occasionally yield some positive results, it's generally inconsistent and again, results in significant rejection. There's a lot of no's that come from it and it can take a toll on you pretty quickly. Um, and it's particularly challenging for those new builders. So anyone who's new to business building, that's the stuff that'll that'll hurt the most. So what we're teaching is this. Start by sharing content on your profile that builds trust and affinity, okay? Um, it's really quite straight, straightforward. So share updates about your everyday experiences and topics that you're passionate and, and enthusiastic about. And it doesn't matter what they are, really and truly, as long as you're passionate and enthusiastic about it, people are gonna lean in. And during the holidays, especially, there's a lot of lights, there's de decor going on, right? It's very festive. Um, there's family moments and neat activities to, ch to share. So as you're doing some of those traditions that you do, or maybe you've incorporated some new traditions, um, sprinkling those posts in, and then in between, you have posts that include helpful educational-based content. So it's like, here's what we're doing and then it's like oh here's an educational post to kind of break things up right um, and then the question is where do you get this type of content so what we recommend is you share it from your business page or other sources you create and you all know i'm a big fan of sharing from the business page and with our social marketing 365 service we create this type of content for you so it's very easy to share and you're always putting out some good stuff. And I will say, um, every time I share something from my business page, I generally get some pretty positive feedback from that, which is fantastic. So the heart and soul, now this is something else to keep in mind, uh, of your educational-based content should center around your weekly wellness show. Um, so stay with us <laughs> as we unwrap the next festive segment. We'll explore that a little bit further, but we're also going to explore the sparkling benefits of creating your own weekly wellness show and how, why it's perfect for spreading holiday cheer and of course, wellness insights. So we'll pass it to Jody and he's gonna break this down for you. <laughs> I just wanted to give a, a shout out to my team there who did all the little animations showing um, Anne Thomas is kind of like our mascot, or I don't know what you'd call her, but um, we've created a, a Facebook group page and a profile for Anne Thomas, sort of like our demo. And they just, as uh, you guys saw there, we're, we're showing an example of Anne doing exactly what we want you guys to do. And we're going to get into that wellness show in a little bit. So um, live streaming your own show is a dynamic way to engage with your audience in real time and is the heart and soul of your wellness community content. And I've been seeing you, Danny, sharing in there how you're excited to do your show. And I'd love to find out who is already doing their own show or about to. Um, go ahead and type that in the chat while you're doing that. The great thing about your own show is it helps people discover who you are and what you do and why you do it. Think of it as the new home meeting of yesteryear. So that's what my family did. We had a weekly meeting. That was our show. It's just that we didn't have an internet to share it with everyone around the world. People actually had to come to the house. Well, that's not necessary anymore. Not to say not to have physical meetings, but 
you know, why not have a show that allows people to discover who you are, what you do and why you do it anywhere there, they have an internet connection. And it really opens a window into your world. Like you see in that last graphic there. I, I love that one, uh, showing that off. So by going live, you, again, you open a window into your world. It adds authenticity to your message. It humanizes your brand and allows you to respond directly to your community's questions and comments. All the images that you're looking at, can you guys guess where we got those? <laughs> I told ChatGPT what I wanted. I said, can you, you know, please create an image of a lady live streaming inside of a building in the, with an interface of a Facebook, you know, blah, blah. And that's what I got. Isn't that cool? ChatGPT made those images for me. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, so artificial intelligence is, is just amazing. You guys may not realize this, but actually um, the, almost this entire show has been built or supported by artificial intelligence. Uh, it is what's helped us write the script. It's what's helped us with other videos. So it's also going to be able to help you guys with your uh, weekly show. So what might have been felt very difficult in the past can be um, be supported with technology now. So again, why live stream a show? Well, it builds trust. It strengthens community ties. It also has educational impact and live shows are just a fantastic opportunity to build that trust. When viewers see you and hear you in real time, right? They hear the passion in your voice. They see your enthusiasm. They develop a stronger connection with you and the values that you represent. Uh, these are crucial in the wellness industry because it's all about community. Regular live sessions, again, contribute to a sense of community. The same way that I'm bringing you right now into my house, you're able to see, you know, this is where we are. Well, you can do the same thing if you've got a cute little office space, or if it's not so cute, maybe make it cute, right? You can shoot your video inside your wherever you want. If you've got a beautiful Christmas tree, that's the great thing about this time of year. You can really give people that that feeling of coziness that they may not get. So regular live sessions contribute to that sense of community. They become something that your audience looks forward to each week, like a catch up with a friend, which can turn into turn casual viewers into loyal viewers. You can teach, share and inspire effectively through live streaming and viewers can learn from you directly, creating an internet and educational impact that's both personal and powerful. Now, why live stream a weekly show? Well, again, personal branding, marketing reach. Your live show becomes a reflection of your personal brand. This is important because you want to ensure that people see you as a wellness educator and not a Shackley salesperson. Use it to showcase your expertise and passion for wellness. And live streams can significantly boost your marketing reach. Platforms often also prioritize live content meaning you're more likely to appear in feeds, increasing your visibility and attracting new followers. You can run ads as well from your Facebook page, your community headquarters, as we call it, to get more viewers. So to support you with this, we'll be adding a new PowerPoint presentation into the file cabinet for Content Creators Club every Wednesday so that it'll help you guys do your show because we realize just giving you guys a script for those of you that are not using a teleprompter like I'm using now, um, it's difficult to just run through a script. So what we're going to do is create a beautiful PowerPoint presentation for you that will be based on the format that I'm going to cover, I believe in a moment. <laughs> um, and so just share with me, what do you think? Um, what are your thoughts on the fact that we're going to make a PowerPoint for you guys? So this is what I'm going to recommend you do. You use Zoom. Okay, and then you share your screen. So you'll just be kind of a box in the corner and the PowerPoint will be done in a way that you can pretty much kind of like read. It'll, it'll prompt you in the PowerPoint. And that way people get to see visuals and it allows you to not have to use a script in that same way. So, um, so we hope you guys will support that because if you support it and you're using it, well, then we'll keep doing it. So here are a few names to give you some ideas for show names. Vitality Vibes or Vitality Boost Show or The Wellbeing Weekly, The Vibrant Living Show. It could be The Debbie Miller Show, right? Uh, wellness Bites, or I would typically consider having wellness like 
wellness with Debbie Miller or something like that is sort of how I would consider that. But um, so here's how we'll structure the PowerPoint for you. So it's going to start off with a quick little intro. Then you're going to tell a quick version of your origin story. And then a quick recap of last week's show, if it's applicable. And then you're going to give them the core content of that show. So that'll typically be make some wellness tips or stories, recipes, something like that. And then you'll do a quick recap. And then you'll give a call to action, which will be like, join my discovery group, your community, your Vitality for Life e-newsletter. That's what VFL stands for, by the way, is Vitality for Life e-newsletter. That's the name of the newsletter we create for you. And then you engage with that content. And in this segment, we'll unwrap the value of a dedicated Facebook group for nurturing client relationships. We call this the retention group. And it's a strategy that we've per perfected nearly a decade, over nearly a, de a decade with our Social Marketing 365 service. So just as the heartwarming image of a cozy room adorned with festive decor draws you in, a Facebook retention group creates a welcoming atmosphere for your clients and your members. So it's an intimate space, not unlike a virtual fireside, where the shared pas passion for Shackley products ignites conversation and camaraderie. So this group isn't about broad reach by any means. This is about depth and quality. So it'll be smaller, much more exclusive gathering where clients can freely express their experience and enthusiasm for the products that they love. And of course you can too. So here's what a VIP retention group offers. So clients become insiders, they get the VIP treatment, um, enjoying a first look at new products, special offers, behind the scenes content, sharing tips and tricks and how to's, um, and turning casual customers into knowledgeable product advocates. So think of different ways that you can use the products that you can share with them of like, hey, have you ever thought of using, I know you guys have seen the one like mascara for eyebrow filler, that type of thing, right? And it helps to foster a sense of belonging by celebrating milestones, sharing testimonials, and offering personalized advice. So in essence, this group is a space where clients feel valued and engaged and leading to stronger loyalty and long-term retention. So it's another place to just nurture that relationship you've worked hard to start. Um, and as we dive into our treasure trove of holiday marketing wisdom, let's illuminate the top three strategies that will transform your VIP group into the most sought after festive hub. And these are your keys to creating a space where clients feel not just celebrated, but part of a community that shines with wellness and holiday spirit. So get ready to take a few notes, pull out your notebook, because these tips are the gifts that keep on giving long after the holiday lights, you know, get taken down and everything gets dimmed out again. Um, <clears throat> all right. So the first one is host exclusive holiday themed events. Make the most of the holiday season by hosting exclusive events within your group. It could be like 12 days of wellness series featuring, featuring daily tips and live streams on maintaining health during the holidays or a new year, new you workshop to discuss goal setting and healthy habits for the upcoming year. And if you were on the call with Dr. Daggy last night, he was telling people, you know, if weight loss is one of your things, start thinking about what you're going to do now for the new year so you can help facilitate that for them. And these events should not only be informative, but also celebratory. So creating a buzz and makes shopping for wellness products part of the holiday excitement. Okay, the second one is curate festive and educational content. We know, we've heard the saying, right? Content is king. <laughs> and during the holidays, it should rain with cheer and education. So sharing festive recipes. Maybe you've taken, you know, one of your grandmother's recipes and substituted a few things to make it gluten-free or lactose-free for people who struggle with that. Um, stress management techniques for, for the busy season. 
and gift giving guides featuring products, featuring Shackley products, right? Stocking stuffers, something under $30, which by the way, there's content you can use for that. Um, educate on the benefits of each item in a way that relates to holiday needs. So keeping it all in line. And this approach helps clients see your products as essential holiday companions, which can boost sales and of course deepen their connection to the brand. And then finally, it's implement a gratitude and reward program. So this the holiday season is synonymous with giving. That's what we talk about. So why not incorporate a gratitude and reward program in your VIP group? So recognize and thank your most active members, offer exclusive holiday discounts, or create a point system for participation that can be redeemed for special rewards, um, such as incentives uh, not only, or such incentives not only incentivize engagement and purchases, but also foster a warm and grateful community atmosphere. So some ideas to incorporate into there, which make things a lot of fun. Um, all right, so with that, unless Jody wanted to add anything else, I think we're on to recap. And I'll just show everyone. I just wanted to remind you guys, because um, it's sort of my mistake that I should have put this in there, but you may not have, you may not realize this, but so here's the wellness community. So this is your Facebook profile. This is the, the business page. And then down at the bottom, you'll see it's, <laughs> I got to figure out how to do it backwards. There we go. Uh, down at the bottom here, you'll notice this is the VIP group. And this is the discovery group. So the discovery group is generic. We're not talking about Shackley at all. This is your retention group. And that is going to be talking about um, what we just covered there. So remember, everyone has a personal profile. We recommend that everyone has a business page, just one page and two groups. Okay, that is the wellness community structure. We're not going to get into all the reasons why. Um, but that, uh, let's just check and make sure that everybody, in case anybody has any questions on that. Um, and yes, that graphic is in the blueprint packet that we haven't yet. That's going to be for the new year. So when you guys join us for the Back to Business um, uh, webcast in January, we are going to be giving you guys this. And I also just made this up as well. So I'm hoping you guys will... Um, I, I posted a, uh, a screenshot inside the group on the fully equipped wellness educator. So you know all the things you need for that. So that is the new, we originally called it the YFP business blueprint, and it is now the wellness educators blueprint. <laughs> you know, in the network marketing world, we're really witnessing a profound shift, a change that's reshaping our industry. In the past, network marketing was largely driven by in-person interactions such as home parties, home meetings, and face-to-face -face networking like the way I grew up. Now, while these methods are still used, there's now a significant emphasis on online engagement, as we know. And the focus has moved, though, in order to really win online, the focus has moved towards building online communities, providing value through educational content, and establishing trust and credibility as experts in your field. So we're transitioning from the traditional role of salespeople. That's actually how Dr. Shackley um, kind of recruited people in the beginning was as a sales force. That was the terminology, right? Uh, well, we're moving away from that to become wellness educators who learn to sell at the right time. So that's important to know. We're not saying don't be salespeople. It's learn to sell at the right time, right? But don't be perceived as just simply a salesperson online we want you to do be able to adapt to digital currents that redefine our connections education and growth so this holiday season marks a time to transcend the old paradigm and be at the forefront of the new so we have a special promo that we put on for those of you that may not have the tools that we're offering to help you with this uh, and support you as a wellness educator and that's the five deals of christmas and it's not just about tools, it's an invitation to a movement. It's a movement where being seen online as a salesperson is a thing of the past. And emerging as a wellness educator really shapes the future. 
So your journey to this pivotal transformation is supported by the services designed to harmonize with the natural progression of network marketing, the evolution of what this is turning into. It's about enhancing your digital fluency, fostering genuine connections and celebrating wellness, not just as a product, but as a shared celebrated experience. It's about building a community that turns to you for guidance, knowledge and empowerment. So we hope that you guys will join the movement, embrace the shift with our five deals of Christmas and let the season be the start of your most impactful role yet as a wellness educator. Your community awaits and together we will thrive. So don't miss out on this limited time offer. The five deals ends on December the 26th. And to learn more, they're gonna drop in a link in this chat and you can go there at yfp.works slash five deals to find the service to help you get growing. You'll also find it when you go to yourfreedombrudge.com. You'll see it all over the place. Um, and they're gonna post the link in the chat and in the live stream. So if you're intrigued by what you've seen today, but aren't quite ready to take the plunge um, and actually purchase something, that's okay, don't worry. We've got a couple of risk-free ways for you to dip your toes into the water of wellness community management. And that is with our complimentary wellness community fast track strategy session. So imagine having a personalized 30 minute one-on-one -on -one session with an expert to pour over your current setup. We'll explore what's working, what can be fine-tuned, and what additions will make your digital space truly flourish. So to get started on this, or if you want to share this with someone in your team that you feel would get value, just either drop your name, phone number, and email into the chat here in Zoom or in Facebook if you want. But if you want to share your details privately here in Zoom, you can do it by just choosing panelists from the drop down menu in the chat so that we will be the only ones who sees it and not everyone will see your contact information. Or uh, book your free strategy session. It's that's even easier. Just head on over to yourfreedomproject.com forward slash book dash WC to select a time that works best for you. You can also take a 30 day uh, test drive of our system. If you're not entirely sure, why not just try out my Freedom Builder for 30 days? It's a full month to experience how our tools and support can streamline your efforts. And you can sign up for this test drive at yourfreedomproject.com forward slash trial. 